Hi everyone, it's Carol with Carol's Crazy Crochet and More. Timmy just started barking, I wonder what's going on. So hi everybody, good to see you. Um, I know it's been a little bit since I put out a video. I have been so busy um, making Christmas gifts for my grandson's teachers. And um, it's been quite an, an endeavor. So let's start with a um, quote from our um, what is this book? Also, uh, always find a reason to smile. And today it says, a beautiful day begins with a beautiful mindset. So um, for me, that means I've got to um, get my butt in gear and um, set my mind on what needs to be accomplished for the day and um, put my mind in a position to accept those responsibilities that I have to do and make it something um, enjoyable um, or um, a task that is not so insurmountable. Um, but anything that you put your mind to, if you make it good, then it's going to be good. So, um, I don't know, I'm kind of rambling. <laughs> so let's get started. I'm gonna try to not make this video too long. It might have to be two videos. I have a total of um, 17 finished objects. And these are um, items that I started working on um, very late October, like the 29th was when I started. Uh, for my Christmas presents and they're going to be delivered today So that's why I had to make this video take some pictures and I apologize because I don't have anybody to model the garments um, so it's just going to be all um, Still pic pictures of the items on my bed um, And I'll put in uh, pictures where I can uh, after I show the item. So let's get started. So the first one is a crochet poncho by um, Crochet Dreams, D-R-E-A-M-Z. And I used a Caron Latte Cake to make this. And it is stunning. It turned out absolutely beautiful. And the back is short. It doesn't have, it's just this, the one point. And um, the way this worked is I made the the gar the fabric and then sewed it together here. And um, this was really easy to make up. I think I made it in just a couple of days. And um, I love the way that turned out. And um, my next item, and I have them numbered um, so that I could get through this a little quicker. This is a 3D stitch shawl by Fiber Spider. And I think most of you are familiar with Fiber Spider, but I'm gonna link all these tutorials down in the bottom um, so you can find them. And I'm gonna try and uh, tell you the yarns that I used. So for this yarn, I, or for this item, let me show it to you. Turned out really pretty. And this is an unusual stitch. It's something that I've never done before with this 3D. Can you see how those shells or those um, stitches pop up? I don't know if you can see it on camera. But for this, I used um, Maypole DK Euro Baby. And it is in the colorway Amethyst which I think this just turned out absolutely beautiful. And it's not a big giant shawl, it's just um, a smaller shawl. Um, and so then we have that. And then I have, um, let me check these off as I go. I have a bag a day um, scarf that I made, a scarf that I made using a bag a day stitch tutorial. And so this is the scarf. And I've got these tags on them for washing instructions for the teachers. But this is the feather stitch. Isn't that beautiful? And I used the ice yarn for this um, in the colorway rainbow 
and it's the green, pink, and beige colors. And I think it just turned out so pretty. The color um, worked out really well where it kind of pulled, which is um, pretty. So I have that. And then I have um, this feather stitch scarf as well. And I made this one pretty long pretty long and then I put um, tassels on the ends but you can see I used uh, a different color yarn on every row um, the lighter pink which is um, petal and then the darker one is petunia and I used um, forever fleece finer by loops and threads and um, this, I, you know, there was a lot of ends to sew in, but I just love that stitch. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and so that's why I made two items out of it. And then I have for item number five, what's number seven? This is number five. And this is a bag a day, easy beginner friendly crochet shawl. And I used Yarn B Dazzling in the color Cyber uh, Soul. Um, and each one of these uh, skeins of yarn was, no, two of them were the same and one of them was different, but they were all labeled Cyber Soul, which um, I'll show you how beautiful this is. And this has got um, the metallic going through it. And this is a... Um, I did not color control any of this. This is just the way that it came out. And it's a very simple granny square and then double crochets. And then you just repeat. You've got five rows of grannies and then uh, three rows of double crochets. And so I love this shawl pattern. And so I made quite a few using this tutorial. Um, and so I also made it in the color sand. Um, with the same yarn, Yarn B. Um, let me show this one to you. That is just so pretty with those colors. And so, yeah, this is a bag a day um, shawl, and it's the, the same pattern that I used with the other one. And then this is the same pattern also, a bag a day. Uh, the same easy beginner friendly crochet shawl and I used yarn B urban chic in the color berry look how this turned out um, I don't like how this changed right here because I don't like those those color changes that are just like that I like a smooth gradual color change um, but really um, ow, that was my elbow it happened again here, um, but you know, I think it still turned out beautiful, and the recipient of this, I'm sure, is um, not even gonna notice that. And this is um, flecked yarn. Can you see how it's got those flecks in it? And so this is all yarn that I got on clearance at the Hobby Lobby sale, not this year, but last year. Um, and so those three shawls um, were from the um, sale from last year. And so we are on number um, eight. And this is this green scarf. And this one is pretty um, long as well. And I put the fringe on it and you can see the stitch. I could not find, I didn't write this down when I started it or when I ended it, and so I don't know um, what stitch this is. And this yarn came from um, a Mystery Melon Bags, and so I think it has some alpaca in it. I'm not sure, um, but I labeled it Hand Wash and Dry Flat. And this is a bag a day stitch, but I could not find which tutorial it was. Um, and so I am giving credit to bag a day. I just can't link the tutorial because I just can't find it. Um, 
and the trim on that was Dollar Tree uh, yarn, um, the Premier yarn. And then we've got a Bag -a Day Quick and Easy Infinity Scarf, and then I made a slouchy hat to go with it. Wrong one, oops, lost the hat. And so um, this is what I think is called a scooty, kind of, where you put it on and you can put it over your head like this, um, or you can wear it just, you know, like this. But I did make a hat, a slouchy hat to go with it. And so I don't know what this is gonna do to my hair, um, but I don't know how it looks. But I, put, I made a slouchy hat to go with it. I don't wear hats much, but yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Who is that lady from Hee Haw that always had the tag on her hat? And so this is a puff stitch that I used on this, and this is just um, post, back, front, front, back. Um, and then um, these are both bag-a-day um, patterns, tutorials. And um, this is the stitch that I used here. And I think what I did is I altered it because the the tutorial that I used, she had bobbles in it. But I didn't think that bobbles would show up really well with this yarn. And this is scarfy yarn um, that I got on clearance last year also. Um, and it, it was a, a great to work with. And then I have um, what number is this one? Let's see. That's number 13 and we are on number 11. Okay. So this is a corkscrew shawl. And this is by Allison Russell. And this is um, bonbon yarn that I used. I believe it's from Hershner's maybe. Um, but I used it in the color rose and then gray. And this is a super simple um, pattern to follow. But um, I made it way too big. <laughs> so whoever's going to use it is just going to have to figure out a way to wear it. But yeah. And then I made a hat to go with it. And then this is using a puff stitch as well. And this is um, a bag-a-day hat uh, pattern that I used. And so, oops, that is, you know, I set up my fan and I didn't turn it on. Um, that was number 11 and 12. And then for 13 and 14, this is a bag-a-day tutorial as well. And it is a large infinity hat, oops, scarf and hat. And I use loops and thread, cozy wool. And I got this from um, Ollie's. And so this is this, and it's, um, it's pretty big. You can uh, wrap it twice, or wear it as a scooty, like this. see if I can get it off <laughs> um, and then um, here's the hat <clears throat> and um, it has the same uh, stitches the front post and the back post um, like this and um, this was really nice to work with as well you should see this pile of stuff over here. I've had all of them organized in this bucket. Okay, so that was um, number 13 and 14, and that was 50% wool and 50% acrylic, and it's a number six bulky. Um, and so, this is a mystery shawl. I, I wanna say this is a bag-a-day pattern. I'm almost certain that it is. But once again, I can't find it. I didn't write it down. But this is using the Karen 
um, Ogo Colorama Halo. And this is just a triple crochet and a single crochet in each stitch. And it makes this pretty texture on it. You see that? Oops, there's my thumb. <laughs> and so um, I really love how the colors worked out on this. And um, that was the back. This is the front. So it does have a back and a front because of the puffs. But then I just went around the edge with the end, the white that was at the end that was at the end. I only have a couple more to go, guys. Um, I have a corner-to-corner -corner shawl that I just kind of um, made up. I just corner-to-corner, -corner, I mean, you make a shawl. And I used um, Red Heart, I don't know how to say this, Hagee, H-A-G-G-E, in a turquoise with glitter. And this just turned out so pretty. I love, and then I, I put a shell border on it all the way around. And um, I just love the corner to corner stitch, as most of you know. Um, and so um, I think that turned out really pretty. And this one I just is hot off the hook this morning. This is, um, I used Rabbit Fur by um, Etrophil. And I cannot remember where I got this yarn, when I got this yarn, but I have it in burgundy as well. And it is um, polyester, I think it's 100% polyester. Yes, it's 100% polyester. And so this is a really long scarf. And I put um, some pom-poms on the end. But look at that, if you could feel this, it is just, it's faux fur, and it, it was a number six, and I used a size 10 hook, and it's just single crochets. I started off with 11 single crochets, and then of course it was 10, and I just did 10, 10, 10 single crochets all the way, and it was so simple to make. Um, the only thing is that you really, you have to feel for your stitches, um, because you can't see them, but this is super long. So it can go around. It can be a scooty too. Um, but it can go around like this. So, or you know, it can be worn anyway. The recipient wants to wear it. And so that's the last one. I, I managed to get this video under 20 minutes. <laughs> um, and so I'm gonna link all the tutorials that I, that I can down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all my makes. So this is these makes are from October till today um, that I made these. And in between these, I also made a um, two ponchos for a cousin and an uncle, and a corner to corner twin size uh, blanket, which I think I showed, um, but I'm not sure. Um, and an Abby Cadabby hat. I forgot to bring that out to show um, those items. Um, but I'll try and put some clips in at the end of those items. So I hope everybody has a fabulous day. I hope you enjoyed um, seeing all my makes. And uh, have a great day. Um, be safe. Be good. But take care of yourself. We all need to take care of ourselves. Or we're no good to anybody else. <laughs> Bye, everybody. I love you guys.